All right, coming up about 20 minutes till we get to the top of the hour. Five o'clock coming up very quickly for us here. You can see on first alert Doppler scattered showers do continue for us this morning, and this is going to be one of those days where the rainfall not only lasts for uh, several hours at a time, but it's going to come in several waves, and that's what will pile up the rainfall totals on top of what we already have. You're sitting out there. I hear you. Trust me. I hear you. We don't want need or ever want to look at rain for the next uh, a little bit for us here, but unfortunately we got to get through a first alert day today with some heavy soaking showers. Let's take you down to where one of these downpours are right in Whiteford Township moving into Bedford right on the north side of Sylvania here. Here's Alexis Road where this shower is right now. There's nothing that's per se severe about this storm. It's just going to have a torrential downpour because of how much moisture that's in in the air and the one area I'm really watching closely if you're talking about your evening plans for tonight and where the steadier and heavier rain could potentially come from. It's still all the way down here from St. Louis to Springfield, Missouri. This pocket of rain is going to turn into an area of low pressure and lift up towards Northwest Ohio tonight, bringing us that chance for more widespread rain. Before we talk timing, totals widespread an additional one to potentially two inches of rain on top of what you've already gotten. You can see there are spots that will miss out a little bit here. Now don't take this verbatim, but over towards Adrian Williams County, Hillsdale County, uh, uh, there's a spot there that our computer model is generating saying, hey, maybe they'll get a little bit less. But there's plenty of other spots here that get that one to two inches of rainfall on top of what you already have. And that is what could cause some river problems, especially down towards the Blanchard River. We don't need a lot of rain. We know what happens down there. And those farm fields, a good chance to dry out would be nice. Unfortunately, our hour by hour forecast here this morning shows several waves of rain coming on through. There are going to be times today where it's not raining, but it's going to be damp. It's going to be soggy. There's really no chance to dry out. And don't be surprised if towards this evening we get a few of those heavier showers, downpours, and maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Here's the overnight time frame, 3, 4, 5 a.m. Eventually tomorrow after 8 a.m., a north wind, a dry wind comes in, and by lunchtime finally quiets us down. 76 degrees for a high temperature for today. Look at 78 for tomorrow with the rainfall ending. And then look at Sunday, our headline here. I had to put a couple exclamation points behind that one, Stephen. I'm pretty excited. A dry day for Sunday. We'll be looking forward to that. Yeah,